JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Aquatics using chemical testing methods. Our first demonstration is the use of test strips to test for ammonia levels in our aquarium. Ideally, you want no ammonia buildup in your aquarium as ammonia is toxic to fish. Using the vial in the test kit, collect a sample of water from the tank. Most test kits include these small vials. Do not dip the test strip directly into the tank. Dip the test strip into the vial and agitate for 30 seconds. Hold the strip pad side up for 30 seconds. This allows the chemical reaction to take place. After 30 seconds, compare the color of the pad to the color chart on the bottle. The color indicates the level of ammonia. In this instance, we see the color indicates the ammonia levels are within the safety zone. If your ammonia levels are too high, do a water change and check your pH level and temperature since both these factors affect ammonia buildup. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions on your test kit as times and color charts may vary. Test for calcium using a drop test. A drop test consists of placing a designated number of drops of a test solution into a sample of water. Read the manufacturer's instruction as to how many drops of solution are required for your test kit. In this case, we are to put in 10 drops of solution number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After we do that, we're going to reseal it and shake vigorously for about ten seconds. Okay. Now we are to add solution number two one drop at a time, shaking between drops. One drop. Shake. Never use your finger. Always replace the cap. The chemicals in your finger may react with the chemicals used for your test. Drop number two. Hopefully you can see our water is beginning to turn pink. What we need is when our water turns blue, we'll determine what our calcium level is, so we have to keep track of the number of the drops we put in. Three, 23, and as you can see, we're starting to turn blue there. Add one more drop, kind of an off purple, really. 24. And there we are, 20, 24 drops. Now we look at our chart, and 24 drops is our calcium is at 480 parts per million. For our last test, we're going to test for nitrates using a chemical method known as color comparison. As with all test kits, follow the manufacturer's directions to ensure accuracy. Take a sample of water and place it in the vial. Most test kits provide vials for testing purposes. In this case, our manufacturer has us add 10 drops of solution number one. in there and shake it up to get it good and mixed in. 
Okay, we then take solution number two. Okay. And we now add 10 drops of solution number two. Recap and shake vigorously for one minute. We allow to stand for five minutes to allow the color to develop. It's been five minutes. We now take the vial and compare it to our chart. As we can see, the nitrates are very close to zero. They're very yellow and Nitrates of 5 are kind of an orangish yellow, so we're probably a little over maybe one part per million, very close to zero. Thanks for watching.